Now, every Australian capital city has that one kooky festival that's a bit of a mystery to everyone else. Brisbane has Ecca, Adelaide has a Christmas pageant in November, and the Hermit Kingdom of Perth remains a mystery to us all. <laughs> Melbourne's weird little festival is Moomba, and its highlight is the crowning of the King and Queen of Moomba. This year's duo were Rob Mills and the one and only Rhonda Birchmore. Everyone knows and loves Rhonda, except Rhys Nicholson who returns with another edition of This Is Apparently Your Life. This is Apparently Your Life. Oh, hello! Welcome to This Is Apparently Your Life. Tonight we celebrate the surprising career of Rhonda Birchmore. It's surprising because I've never heard of her before. <laughs> Roll tight! Rhonda Suzanne Birchmore was one of those annoying stage children that grew up to become an annoying stage adult. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be with you in a minute. I have not read any of this. <laughs> Rhonda, you were one of those stage children. Were you always a precocious little shit or was it something you had to learn? Where did you get that from? I'm not precocious and I'm not a shit, no. OK. It says here, Rhonda, you star in many musicals such as Sugar Babies. Now, I don't know anything about Sugar Babies, but I do know a lot about Sugar Daddies. Is it a similar vibe? Nothing to do with it at all. Because no. I saw a picture of Mickey Rooney. Well, he wasn't a sugar daddy. He was very short, he was very talented, he was very bitter and twisted. Sounds like a sugar daddy to me. Well, no, he wasn't too pleasant. But you have long legs. Has anyone ever mentioned that to you? Yeah, well, these have been my fortune, these legs. You know, like Kylie's bum? Well, I've mm. got the legs and... <laughs> now, you've had a huge TV career, says here. You've worked on some incredible TV shows, including Hey, Hey, It's Saturday, uh, with a man called Daryl Summers. He's that... a bit of a legend, Daryl. Yes, you guys there. Which one's Daryl? Oh, God, <laughs> look. Yeah, the one there, Daryl and Ozzy, they, they were good times. Who do you reckon did more coke, Dickie Knee or Pluck a Duck? <laughs> well, oh, I don't know. They'd get in that suit and the way they'd go, yeah. I don't know, but it was wild. Uh, you also performed on the Ray Martin show, Covered in Pigeons. Right? Oh, yes! That is one of my most favourite things, and we couldn't do that anymore, Reese. I used to do a, a strip tease, and I'd remove, like, the, the veils, and a pigeon would come in, and there was the titty birds, mm -hmm. and there was Fanny was the big finch. <laughs> uh, and they used to arrive. I have a little kind of, uh, you know, little ledge there. Why do you think they won't do that on TV? It's, is it because it's the most f***ing insane thing I've ever heard in my entire life? It is, and... There would be times where they'd want to fornicate on my head. <laughs> so I'd have as many as six or seven of these birds. <laughs> they used to leave their poo. They used to shit themselves all over me. Like working with Mickey Rooney again. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you had to eat cockroaches on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Oh. oh. I think that was a really big... One of those hard shell, it was about five inches. Measuring from the balls. Um, <laughs> now, you've sung for so many people. You sang for Bill Clinton. I did. I said I will go to the event and perform for Bill mm. if I can actually uh, meet the man. Not only did I meet him, I did him. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right, no, just no, make no. sure you can. He said, help me, bit. Rhonda, I'm only uh, human. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> A highlight. Well, Rhonda, it was great to find out that you existed. This was apparently your life. Yes, what a beautiful... Look, it's thick. Yeah. You like yourself. Hey, you're <laughs> you never thought Rhonda Birchmore would say that to me. <laughs> Stop it. This is apparently your life.